And when you're doing th this kind of training, which you describe as very lonely, um, mm. d doesn't it feel like some days you feel like I just can't be bothered? I've just got to give <laughs> up. You know, it's, it just that would be my approach. To be honest, I don't think I'd have the. Yeah. The, the discipline to do this every day, even when, yeah. I, even when it hurts, you know? Yeah, there, there are, of course, days like that. Um, but I think you have, if you have this sort of drive to be the top in a sport, that is what gives you the engine to, to get yourself out there, even when you don't feel like it or the weather's bad. You have this kind of burning desire to, to be really good at your sport, which is great because it's hard work and you need that kind of desire. But at the end of my elite career, that desire just kind of went. And that was very difficult because I no longer had that sort of drive to, to get out there and push myself. And, and, and that transition, I think a lot of elite athletes find very difficult. Why does that happen? Why does that drive disappear? Yeah, I think it's, well, it's age. It's, you know, I, I reached the age where I just couldn't physically do the training required to be at the top anymore. Mm. Uh, if you've achieved everything you want to achieve, I mean, I, I didn't really achieve everything I wanted to achieve, but I got quite close. Yes. Um, as you get older, other things become more important in life. Um, you might get a bit cynical about some of the <laughs> slightly uglier sides of, of sport. Um, and I think there's only a limited amount of time that you can lead that kind of life. It's very tough. It's very disciplined. You miss out on other things. And I mean, that's what's so interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? That really... When athletes get get past their peak, they're mm. still very young. Yeah, you know, they're still <laughs> yeah. They're, then they're still you know yeah. relatively early in their life with so much more that they might want yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. You hear people say athletes retire twice, and as you say, I think this is partly why elite athletes suffer a lot of mental ill health when they retire because you're retired, your life as you've known it, your whole mm. identity is is over, but you're still a young person.